Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Blitz5, and in today's video, I wanna talk about what it would be like to have player classes in PUBG. So just a disclaimer here, I'm not saying that player classes are coming into the game. There's absolutely no evidence of that at all. And I'm not saying that I personally think that player classes should be in the game. This is just a theory and an idea that I had after playing the Fantasy Battle Royale mode. So if you missed that mode, that was PUBG's April Fool's Day joke for 2020. And I know some people were not happy that PUBG did this and chose not to play it, but I do have to say, from my experience, Experience, I had a lot of fun playing this and there were a couple positive things that I took out from the game mode. One of them was the emphasis on teamwork and the other one was the idea behind potentially having classes in PUBG. In Fantasy Battle Royale, we had four classes. There was the Barbarian that acted as a tank class. There was the Ranger class that used the crossbow to do damage from a distance and also had some stealth abilities with a lack of health. Then we had the Mage who was the major damage dealer and had the least amount of health. And then there was the Paladin who was a semi-tank and also the major healer out of the group. And while the classes weren't perfect and you weren't required to play as all of the individual classes, for example, one team could be all barbarians or all mages, in my experience when I played with my friends and we were using communication to play together and everyone picked a different character, we did end up having better results. Because each class had its strength and weaknesses, it almost forced you to stay near your teammates. So this is a really basic example, but explains this point perfectly. If you were playing as a ranger or the mage, you could obviously do a lot of damage, but you could also get taken out very quickly because of your lack of health. So while playing, it was really important and crucial to stay behind the tank so they could block any incoming damage. And then really everybody had an incentive to be near the paladin because he had multiple ways to heal you and then also could drop first aid kits. And then on top of that, there was a very unique way to level up your class in the game. There was crystals placed out all over the map for all the different classes. So it was helpful for you to pick up crystals for your teammates and then group up and share everything, which also kind of created more teamwork, unity, and kept everybody together. So after Fantasy Battle Royale ended, I started to think about what this would look like in PUBG and whether or not it would help create a more team-oriented experience in squads or just create more problems. In this case, I think Battlefield is a pretty good comparison to PUBG because it is a realistic shooter and has used classes for quite some time. I pulled up the classes for Battlefield 5, and just to do a quick overview, there's an Assault class, which is better for players who use ARs and could also deal with armored vehicles. There's the Medic class that could revive allies. There is a Support class, which could hold on to extra ammo and distribute it and also have other abilities like explosives. And then there is a Recon class, which could spot out enemy players. So then let's take a look at what this would be like in PUBG. And again, another disclaimer here, I was just having fun brainstorming these ideas and figured I would share them with you guys. So we could take maybe the assault and support class and kind of merge them together and have this class carry additional ammo in PUBG. That's a major thing. A lot of times people are running out of ammo, so you can keep your teammates supplied if they're giving you cover fire or taking out vehicles. And then if you wanted to make this even more advanced, you could maybe make the assault class the only person that could have a frag grenade or maybe the RPG. There's there's been a lot of talk about frag grenades being overpowered. They recently just got nerfed, but this could be another solution to that problem. Next, there could be a medic class, which I think would probably be the most beneficial one. This class could have a quicker revive time. So normally it takes about like eight or nine seconds to revive your teammate. So maybe this person could get them up in four or five seconds. So then it would be important to be by that character or vice versa. And again, if you wanted to make this more advanced, maybe the medic would have the ability to bring back somebody from the dead. This has been talked about a lot now since it's been added in Call of Duty, Apex, and Fortnite. And then PUBG could also have a version of the engineer class, which could potentially fix vehicles or maybe even a flat. There's a lot of situations in PUBG where your squad is running up to a vehicle. It's missing some tires because they've been shot out or maybe the vehicle's on fire. And then the engineer could sit there for 10, 20, 30 seconds and get the vehicle in some sort of better condition. Or maybe the engineer could be the only person that could hold a vehicle repair kit. This has been tested on PC and I think is on custom games in PC. So this would be really cool. And finally, we have the traditional recon or sniper class. There's a lot of different options you could do with this. Maybe they spawned with binoculars, so they had the ability to see farther until they acquired a scope. Maybe the recon class is the only one that could wear the ghillie suit, or they could have some sort of ability to mark enemy players on the map. So those are the main four that I thought of. I also kind of had an idea for maybe some kind of map class, like one class that was the only person that could see the map or maybe call in airdrops, or those could even be abilities that could be added into the engineer class. And to repeat myself again, I'm not saying that I love this idea or that I want to see it in PUBG. I just thought it was interesting. And I think going over those classes, you can kind of see the potential for more teamwork. For example, you would definitely want to be by the medic in most parts of the game in case you got knocked. And then in certain situations, it would definitely be beneficial to be near the assault guy in case you ran out of ammo. 
And then I got to mention that there's some clear downsides to having classes in any game. One of them is that there's more things for PUBG to balance. And there's also more things for players to exploit in the game if one of the characters is out of balance or overpowered. And I'm sure there's a bunch of other things that I haven't even thought of. And then you would never want to see some kind of class that gave you bonus damage or bonus health because then that's where things become a slippery slope and then it just takes away from the realism of the game. And then also in Battle Royale, things are a little bit different because we're acquiring our loot compared to Battlefield where you're starting with everything that you need and you can obviously get stuff on the map as well. Um, but it's two different games, so I don't know if it could be implemented perfectly. And out of all the times I'd want to hear you guys' opinion, I would definitely love to hear what you guys think about with this and also if you have any ideas for classes that could be implemented into PUBG. I had a lot of fun thinking about this topic and making this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thank you all for watching. I'm Blitz5 and peace out. You're shooting the whole tree. Nice. See ya. <laughs>